scoreboard line. Guy Mendes in the white, Lercio in the blue. Isento. Uh, Uh, people say he's sent to, uh, but, uh, You don't agree with that? Not sure. Aha, uh -huh. tendencioso. That's the name. That's yeah. it. Like you tend, uh, you, you tend to that side, yeah? We're getting a... <laughs> An emergency phone call here for Braulio. You guys probably heard the sound in the background there. Guy. On the white Guy. Yes, Guy Mendez on the bottom. Lercio. <laughs> on the blue. Is he on the foot? He's shooting no, for it. He's, he's, he's going under. Yeah, just trying to get his grip. Yeah, look at that Guy. The yep. lapel grip he's got there. Um, was uh, Renzo Gracie telling me what means by us? <laughs> we just got a phone call directly <laughs> from Henzo. Henzo, what, what was your input to Braulio? What did he say? He said, like, a tomar partido. It's like, take a side. Oh, yeah, tomar yeah. partido. Yeah. Of course. Henzo is the man. Henzo has been very helpful today. <laughs> you know, I was uh, coaching my brother, and then I got this phone call. Henzo calling me. I said, man, why he's calling me in the middle of the fight? Me, he don't even know what's going on. I said, Henzo, because I never returned his call, by the way, because he's a very good friend of mine. And yeah. I said, Henzo, I'm here, man. I'm watching my brother. I said, I know, man. I know. Listen, tell him to get the food. <laughs> if he get the food, he will get the sweep for sure. Go on, go on. And then I said, Vito, get the food. <laughs> and then he got the sweep. It was amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Henzo, for the... Yeah. For the for the support and um, you know and uh, and the friendship, my friend has been very grateful. Thank and you. The, yeah. And the translation Thanks, help. Hazel. And the translation, which is very important at the moment. Yeah, he's a he's an expert of Twitter. He's the translator. He's of course he's, he's, he's a master. He's yeah. a black belt in many things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at this. That's a good shot by Guy Mendes. You gotta bring the leg all the way out though. There, she was just sucking that leg right up to 50-50. What's the foot lock there? Yeah, I may try to get... <laughs> look at the face of Guy. No. Gonna be points on when he let it go the foot. Yes. Everyone's asking for the points, the crowd here, but uh, as uh, the foot is in danger, that's no points. Yeah, yeah. zeros across the board after three minutes. It's just like if you do a takedown and you end in the guillotine, they don't award you the points until you're out of danger. Same type of thing. Ayersu Fernandez did not medal last year at the Worlds, but in 2010, he earned a bronze medal, third place in light feather. Guys, I don't know about the spectators watching this show, uh, this show of the World Jiu-Jitsu 2012 things, but um, I cannot wait for Monday to step into the mat. Yeah, <laughs> I know it. I'm so dread into it. Two points. Yeah, that is a point. Now. For Guy Mendez. Yeah, so earlier you guys heard Braulio recommend that the first thing people try when they get back to the academy on Monday is flying arm bars. <laughs> <laughs> like Shanji. No, Caleb. <laughs> that, that, that's what you want to do. That's just me. <laughs> I'm going to go hurt myself and hit my head <laughs> when I miss completely. <laughs> it's a crazy position. Right There's here. a really 
literally I'm not. Yeah. <clears throat> you just tied up like like two snakes, and um, it's hard to to get a way out for both of them because they, if they, whoever tries to come out is compromising the point, and then yeah. this is a, a very tough match. You don't, you cannot afford that possibility, and that's why you get all those fights kind of trapped. <laughs> we know we know based on your story a moment ago, Braulio, about certain people's tendency or how loud they get when they coach. Some people call friends across the country to help people coach. Henzo, for example. Mm -hmm. um, but in this case, you know, looking at the coaches in this match, it's silent from the coaches' row. Yeah, because uh, there's not much things that you can do from that. You know, they both trap in each other on the same Post, uh, on the 50, 50 percent of chances, you know, and then becomes more around strategy on when to release the pressure to get the points in the end of the match. You know, basically what they're doing, at least what Guy Mendes is doing, try to hold there as long as he can because he's winning, and then if he goes down, be very ready to come back up again. Yeah. You know, there's not much. You cannot just let it go from this position unless if one of them open up. But uh, Guy's constantly on the danger of a knee bar there. Yeah, you know? he turns the wrong way. If, um, I forgot the guy's name. Laercio. If Laercio t uh, turned to the left and put his hips on top of his, uh, Guy's man, his legs, or by the knee, he's a, he's a knee bar there. We have a lot of names for positions, but there's no name for this yet. There was a sweep going on there. Yeah. He just cannot get an advantage there. If Lesha gets an advantage, it's, big, it's a big thing for, for him for this match. They're stuck. They are stuck. They are and at what stuck. point, what even, based on what you said, still we have to ask, you know, is there stalling involved? Is there a lack of aggressiveness well, or passivity? It's, I think, you know, it's a, a bit of both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, what I would say is like, I, would, what I think one of the things of improvement of the rules, it should appear if you stay like a more than minute in the same, at least, I mean, maximum a minute on the same position, should kind of open up, stand up again. Yeah. Because otherwise it's going to become like that. Everyone that watches yeah. the same thing all the way on, until the end. Because they can both justify their lack of action exactly. here. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. These guys both want to have to, like, get out of this, not just one guy. Exactly. And right now it's sort of just one guy. Look, you know, Guy has a very good advantage. There's like uh, two minutes left now. He has two points. You know, Elias can't get his back, can't get the sweep, mm -hmm. can't get the advantage, and Guy just looking around. And um, he's trapped. I think the referee should already start making uh, some uh, warnings. That's a foot lock. Oops, that's wow. a sweep. I think this was a little bit of an over two points for D. Yeah, that foot. I think that was a mistake. It's a tie match now. Two points across the board, no advantages. With about a minute and a half left. It's gonna come down to the wire, just like Bruno and Caio. Exactly. Yeah, that was a little mistake right there. That's good setup. Niba. Got another device for the Niba. Yeah, that. Look, I didn't see no defense though. Yeah, he just shook his head. Didn't look like he did. He said, "Ah, it's not bother me." Yeah. He didn't really have to defend. Made the referee want to take off a little bit of pressure for him. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny now, Guilherme is in exactly the same position as last was yeah. a few minutes they ago. switched. Less than a minute. Whoa, there's an advantage now. Mm. 
Guilherme is winning by one advantage by the Nibar attempt. Yep. He's going for another footlock attempt now. Now, Larissa looks like he wants to go for a toe hold of some sort. He's got to do it now. Yeah, there's another knee bar. <laughs> the face. Yeah, oh, he's trying. That's a good set up. But he's going to get toe hold if that foot comes around. Those guys, they don't have joints, man. Doesn't seem like. Time is up. Time's up. Whoa. Damn it. That's an advantage. Oh. Whoa. How about now? My God. Oh, oh second. God. So second <laughs> fight. <laughs> I would say Guy was on top the whole time, right? Yeah. So. And you're 2000. Man. Life Caleb, I think you can justify that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 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 He went for the knee bars and the butt 